Hello guys and welcome to another fun and learning episode with me, Teacher Danny, in a world of science. Now for this lesson, we have a very special topic which is very familiar to you because you always see this every night or sometimes early in the morning. That is about the very good about the moon are you ready for this exciting lesson come on let's go for today's lesson you are expected to describe the characteristics of the moon infer the pattern in the changes in the appearance of the moon and relate the cyclical pattern to the length of the moon. Twenty seconds and counting. T minus fifteen seconds. Guidance is internal. Twelve. 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running, liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour, liftoff on Apollo 11, tower cleared, here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This statement was announced when Apollo 11 gets a go for what mission controllers call translunar injection. In other words, it means it's time to head for the moon. On the morning of July 16, 1969, Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins were sent on a mission called One Giant Leap for Mankind. The three-stage 363-foot rocket used its 7.5 million pounds of thrust to propel the astronauts into space. The said journey took almost four days before the team reached the moon's surface. And on the July 20th, the Apollo 11 lunar module successfully landed. But why do humans want to go to the moon? The exploration of the moon is a global undertaking. It offers a shared challenge that requires investment by many nations. And going to the moon pursues scientific activities that address fundamental questions about the history of the Earth, the solar system, and the universe, and about our place in them. Aside from that, the vibrant space exploration program to engage the public this program encourages you students and helps you develop the high-tech workforce that will be required to address the challenges of tomorrow. Because of this moon exploration, many theories are unlocked and proven to be factual. Booster ignition and liftoff of shuttle endeavor. NASA's final space station crew compartment that brings a bay window view to our celestial backyard. Now here are some cool studies they have found. The portion of the moon that we can see from Earth on a given night is called the faces of the moon. Now as the moon orbits around the Earth, Sunlight is reflected of the moon surface and that light reaches us on Earth. Now the phase of the moon depends on where the moon is on its orbit. It takes about one month for the moon to make a complete orbit around the Earth. So meaning, the phases of the moon repeat about once a month. To better understand what makes phases of the moon, let's break them down. Oh! <laughs> 
the moon does not produce any light on its own. The light we see coming from the moon is actually light reflected from the sun, kind of like a mirror. And the sun is the strongest source of light in our solar system. Every moon and planet visible in our solar system reflects light from the sun. Now, the reflected light enters our eyes, allowing us to see things. Now, even though the moon and the sun appear to be the same size as the earth, the sun is actually 400 times bigger than the moon. They look just like the same due to an optical illusion. So, the objects that are close to you might appear larger. Hulk smash! As the moon orbits the earth, we can see a different amount of the moon is lit by the sun from our perspective on earth. Sometimes the moon is completely lit and other times it is entirely dark. The illuminated shape of the moon that is visible from earth is called a face. What are the different faces of the moon? When you cannot see the moon at all, this face is called a new moon. Several days after a new moon, we can see that the moon is as thin as silver of light which is called the crescent moon. Now as the moon appears larger and larger, it becomes a quarter moon and it grows into a gibbous and then a full moon will be visible when the whole side of the moon is now facing the earth completely. This is illuminated completely by the sun. Now on a clear night, a full moon looks very bright. Now remember, a full moon happens about every 30 days. And the full moon is the brightest face because the whole side of the moon is facing us and is reflecting light from the sun. To check this, you may look at some calendars. Well, mostly the Chinese calendars. For this, moon faces are essential to them. In some science books, you could also see pictures of moon in crescent and gibbous forms. When we say crescent, there is more shadow showing than the moon. Now this is opposite of gibbous with more moon showing than the shadow. Waxing appears to get larger while waning appears to get a little bit smaller. Just like his interest in you. <laughs> Kidding. The moon's surface has markings on it called rays, which are visible from the Earth. Now the rays spread out from a crater formed by the impact of an asteroid. Now when asteroids hit the moon, material from the moon was thrown in different directions. And another feature of the moon that we can see are the lunar Maria. The word Maria means seas in Latin. Early astronomers thought the big dark spots on the moon were actual seas of water. However, these dark areas on the surface of the moon are not made of water. They are actually caused by ancient volcanic eruptions. High and low tides are caused by the phases of the moon also. The moon's gravitational pull tugs on water in the ocean creating high and low tides. Now, there are really many effects of the moon on us, even if we can see it. Now, before we end, I have a quick challenge for you. Can you name the following faces of the moon in 30 seconds? Oh, do you need clues? Don't forget to check the moon and also check its shadow. Are you ready? Let's go! Now 
that's it everyone. Thank you for joining me in another fun and out of the world adventure here in Teacher Danny's Fun and Learning Vlog. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share all the fun and learning activities only here in Teacher Danny's Vlog. Bye-bye!